look. So this is temaki without seaweed, okay? Wow, it's so good. I have everything here. Like this, taco is done, you know? What's up, Lord's family? Namaste and greetings from Sushima Santos. Uh, today in this video, I'm gonna teach you, I'm gonna show you how to make temaki sushi. Different hand roll sushi at home. Koso maki, futo maki, nuri maki, ura maki, te maki. That means the maki is a refers roll. Maki means the roll. And also, te means hand. That means if you are going to make any kinds of roll with sushi rice by your hands, it's called te maki. So today I'm going to show you how to make te maki. That means hand roll sushi at home normally for the ingredients you can use whatever you want i'm going to show you in a fusion styles that means i'm going to use different varieties of ingredients available in a local market but the common things is the sushi rice that means if you are not going to use sushi rice it's not a sushi if you don't know how to make sushi rice you can check link on my description box i'm gonna put there okay okay let's go i'm going to use the cucumber that is the pickled daikons avocado chopped onion sides the sushi and sashimi grilled salmons and that is the sea brim it's a frozen one also i'll use the caviar russian caviar for the topping i'm going to use the tograsi that is the kimchi sauce that is the normal kikoman soy sauce and i'm going to use the sesame oil that is the homemade teriyaki sauce if you don't know how to make teriyaki sauce you can check link on my description box also also i made one video about how to make six different types of sushi sauce at home you can check okay that is the himalayan rock salts normally i love to use uh, my mother's in from my home country and i'm going to use cibola firta deep fried crunchy onions you can buy from the um, uh, supermarket also you can make the at home powder from the black sesame seeds uh, you can use directly sesame seeds also okay i'm going to use the lemon and orange to make the different temaki i'm going to use the seaweed if you don't like the seaweed i have the another option also so don't go away from this video let's go firstly i'll prefer the cucumber i this knife is not soft for this if you are going to cut the katsuramuki uh, you should have the very sharp knife, you know, but the <clears throat> practice make perfect. So no need to be worried. Okay, you can try at your home. You'll be a perfect. Oh, well, the gumer, right? I want to throw this uh, outside layer, you know. That is the pickled icons. Now half. Wow, it's so good, man. Half. Take the skins. Dice cut salmons. You can cut the like long stripe, also you can cut the neta. You can make the slice. Seems like a nigiri slice. I'm going to make a little small dice cut, okay? I'm going to marinate it with different ingredients. I'm going to use with this brain on enzymes pinch of the Himalayan rock salt and kimchi sauce to grassy sesame okay and that's my favorite sesame oil for the extra level of aroma okay I'm going to use the skin of lemon wow it will be a really good just a little bit grated garlic okay not too much it will be a very strong yes you can use a little bit vinegar also or uh, lemon juice. I'll use the uh, lemon juice, okay? I hope it will be really good. Let's see. I'm going to make the style from the sea brim, okay? 
that is the strife I can use with the hand drill. Now I'm gonna chop this. Okay. I'm gonna mix sebrim and salmon. Little bit grated ginger, okay. Natural ginger, that is the just little bit, okay. Otherwise, it will be a really strong flavor. That is the Asian fresh chili, okay. If you just want a little bit mild flavor, you can throw the seeds. I want to make a little bit more spicy. Now, I'm going to add more to grassy pinch of Himalayan salt, that is my favorite one. Sesame oil, also, you can use the olive oil, but the sesame oil will be really good. I want to add more. Okay, then pinch of the black sesame seeds powder, okay? Skin of orange. Then I will add kimchi sauce. Let's use the green onions also. Let's see. <sighs> I'm gonna add a little bit more to grassi. Let's go to make the temaki. I have everything here. One, two, three. Ah, we are the six different. So don't call me, okay? Just I saw you three. Okay, let's go to make the temaki. First of all, to make the temaki, you should know how to make sushi rice. Second thing is ingredients. So if you visit my YouTube channel, if you are looking first in this video, visit my YouTube channel. It will be really fruitful all of you. Today, I'm going to use the vinyl types of gloves. So here, sushi rice can be sticky. If you don't have the, these gloves, you can use Tezu. Tezu means equal quantity of water and vinegar, so it will prevent the bacteria. I'm going to use a little bit of sesame oil. I have the suet, that is the whole suet. To make the temaki, you can make big temaki with these ones also, but I prefer to use the half suet. So I'm gonna break it in a half. When you're breaking, don't break on that side, okay? Always break the same direction of this lining part, okay? okay. It's totally soggy. To give the decorations let's start to make the temaki sushi for the temaki firstly i will use 60 to 70 grams sushi rice seems like the hosomaki then i'll put it in a crossway you know i'll place the sushi rice in a crossway yes you know in a triangular shape i place the sushi rice you know that means the three finger on the top four finger in the middle and almost more than four fingers in the in the bottom like this crossway now i'm not allowed to place sushi rice on the top this corner okay now i'm going to use the avocado avocado is my favorite one as you know and i'm going to use the cucumber and try to make as soon as possible more fast okay otherwise the seaweed will be a little bit soggy now i'm going to use the dice cut salmon now the things is i'm going to very i'm going to show you very slowly okay this corner gonna touch here okay look softly and gently yes then that we should push inside then roll it then roll it and this side you know one thing is that corner and this side should be a equal shape equal level look the level and roll look the level level and roll then take the rice grains and the mass here and that's it you no know? seems like a ice cream cone you know look on the top what i can use i can use <laughs> i got confused you know okay i use the onion sides onion sides and the little bit powder from the black sesame seeds it's depend on you some people use the philadelphia some people use the spicy mayo some people use the um, um, fried onions it's depend on them okay it's a, like a concept you know ice cream concept temaki this is how we can make the temaki soup. now i'm going to show you same ice cream cone with different techniques okay firstly you will take sushi rice then you can uh, separate here gently okay we can say mini temaki I'll use a little bit of wasabi, just a little bit, okay? And the avocado and slice of salmon and just a little bit on inside and tograsi. Tograsi, on inside, sesame seeds, it's depend on you, okay? What kinds of ingredients you want to use, it's depend on you. I, I, want to, I want to make a little bit crunchy, so I'm going to use the civola firta also. Now you'll put here, then this corner will go like this way. Then roll it. 
it's different techniques same ice cream cone but different techniques okay yes you can see here it's become a tema you can use a little bit the uh, rice here then it happens like this Just this ones. I'm going to use a little bit rice. I'm going to use the avocado and marinated seed. Oh. <laughs> then roll it in a direct way, okay? Like this way. Take out this ones, put here, roll it. Then you give to the clients, okay? Like this way. If you don't like the seaweed, that is the optional things. Who don't like the seaweed? That is the folio di soja. That means the soy seeds. I'm gonna cut it in half, okay? I'll take the sushi rice a little bit. This is temaki without seaweed, okay? The technique is the same. I'm going to use the pickle daikon and avocado. Avocado is the really good to all of this. Then I'll use the marinated sivrim and salmon. Then roll it. This corner will go to touch here. Like this way. Then softly and gently make the ice cream cone. I'm going to put a little bit more. This is another type of temaki sushi. Okay, I'm going to make the open temaki. Open temaki means, don't think temaki means just seems like a ice cream cone. Now I'm going to use rice just a little bit. Seems like a taco style, okay? Whatever you, whatever ingredients you want, you can use. It depends on you. I'm going to use the with salmon, salmon cube. Then I'll use Russian caviar. Nice. Then you can give the clients like this. Taco style, you know? You can put a little bit soy sauce here. Taco style. Temaki. Now I'm going to cut like this way. Rice, rice here. I'm using here pickled daikons, cucumber, and always I love this avocado salmon. Okay. I'll use a little bit more salmon. Nice. Then roll it. Also, I'm using here water. Then close it. Nice. Uh, crunchiness. Then teriyaki sauce. And spring onions. Onion types. Sesame seeds powder. And a little bit togarasi. That's it guys. That is the twist. I really love this. In a fusion sushi, if you are eating first time sushi and if you don't like the smell of the seaweed and if you don't like the raw fish, that is optional things to make temaki sushi at home. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. Stay safe, stay healthy. See you in the next video. Have a good day. And please don't forget to subscribe for more reviews. Thank you.